Oh, hi there. Welcome back to British Skylines. We're here in the county of Cambridgeshire. In, well, hovering over the village of Little Gamington and the town of Great Gamington, and this is episode 15. Now, this one uh, is going to be a little bit different to normal. What we're going to do today is more of a recap of what we've done so far over the last 14 episodes and a bit of a talk about what we plan to do moving forward. So, it's going to be less time lapse and more live play, and um, the video might be a bit longer than normal, so bear with me on that. But um, let's, let's begin. So, um, first of all, the map, if, you, if you're not aware, it's uh, called UK Coventry, made by Wizbet. Wizbix and uh, Wizbix has actually watched at least some of the series and uh, thank you very much for that appreciate it I'm loving the map so far I'm barely even scratched the surface of using it we've just t tiny little area here and we plan to to move over a little bit more <laughs> and spread out as we as we go along um, but let's go let's sort of go through it as we as we made it now episode one <laughs> way back in episode one we started working on this little village here little Gamington didn't have a name in it initially and we just put a few little houses church um, I think actually the graveyard came in in the second episode, but yeah, we, a few, these little bits, and it was, I, at the time, let me just put, there we go, we're, we're playing now, uh, at the time I thought, wow, I'm loving this, this is really, really detailed, I look back now, and I feel like, um, could have done a lot more, if I'm honest, but we move on from this, and, um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to come back to this, if I'm honest with you. But I, I love these little buildings. Um, uh, there was a comment asking... Oh, well, that's another thing. I will be... There'll be comments thrown up on the screen throughout the video, sort of responding to what you guys have said along the way. So, um, yeah, obviously, look out for them. You might be there. You might be there more than once. And um, uh, I will... Um, at the time of recording, this is actually just after episode 12 came out, so if you put any comments on episode 13 or 14, they're not going to be in here, but I probably have already replied to them. Uh, but yeah, so there was a comment about um, these houses. Uh, they were made by Rick4000, and they're in the workshop. I do have a collection now on all my videos, so you can uh, you can check the link on that and just check them out and you see all the assets that we used and go from there. But yeah, like I say, episode one, we were focused on sort of this area here. And if I actually go to first person, there we go. Get a little bit closer. I like, I like this. I think it works well. It's a nice little rural village and it's it feels quaint and and, and welcoming uh, we did change the roads up in the end because originally we had um i think dirt roads and there was some comments about that i, I agree they were it wasn't the, the best so I, I changed off off camera uh, and um yeah i think it, it works pretty well and, uh, one of the features i've been having across the map is putting the wheelie bins in place because it, it adds a bit of realism in my eye to make it sort of this this is this is real life people people you know oh hang on I clicked off my screen. There we go. <laughs> this is real life. People, people have to obviously live and go around. So yeah, that that's it. But yeah, episode one wasn't a lot. Um, did I, I did this um, pub garden? I thought it was brilliant. Uh, I look back now, I could probably do much better. But uh, that is what it is. Uh, we then episode two, I believe we added some more. Ha oh, actually, yeah. There we go. There's a little FedEx truck there. I, things like this were just, um, just. I quite like it. I like having the dirt come off the, the driveways onto the path and just giving people a reason to go. These houses here as well, actually. This was still episode one, I think. I'm sure it was. I, I really like these. I'd like to do this more often. I made these into sort of um, a mini terraced area. Nothing major, but very small gardens and um, button up right across the road. I think they look quite good. So I'd like to do that more in the future. Oh, that bin's floating a bit. Ne never mind. We'll, we'll just ignore that. Pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, I'd like to see that a bit more. Um, have I got time ticking we do not that's good let's uh, just change there we, there we go yeah so that's that was episode one really episode two we, we expanded it out a little bit more and we added uh, just a let's say do the same again some more houses and, and just expansion to the village it wasn't anything major but you know we were getting our feet and we we're, were getting used to the game and, and the assets and the and, and the builds um which again you know they're not bad. They're just not a lot of detail. We've added like a few little bits. There's, yeah, so we've, we've got um, obviously got some props in the garden and stuff just to make it a little bit more. I don't know. Feel like there's actually stuff going on. Um, uh, then there's a, a town hall here. I believe that was. Oh, whoops. Yeah, a village hall. That's the one. Uh, a lot of these buildings were made by Rick Four Thousand. We've got the roads by McWalshman. Great content creators. Um, obviously links to them in the collections. So check them out. Um, oh, that's. Uh, 
how do I miss these things? I'll fix this, fix this up as I go along. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I think it looks, I think it was alright. It, it, it's got some improving to do, but we're not going to go crazy with it. Uh, but we let's say got the driveways, the trees, and stuff. Nothing amazing. Episode three it did start picking things up a little bit. Started to add some farms in, just visual, nothing fancy. And this little industrial area here, again, I did change the roads here from from it. it yeah, I, again, we obviously they weren't the best roads, so I've gone back. I, I've made it look a bit nicer. Uh, hopefully, you kind of think it looks all right. Uh, that's floating in the eye. I, is, I go to first person, I see things, and I think I've got to change that. Uh, I love these buildings as well. What is that? Is that a tractor? What? There wasn't, wasn't even one driving that. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm loving these buildings. They've got some, like, obviously, all the company names some of them I recognize some I don't um, I, I think they are all real um, juice and I definitely recognize that's a real building part center that sounds real <laughs> um, uh, I think these are all real buildings and, and real companies so that's that's pretty cool oh the Iceland Stevenson why is Iceland over there can't get a life man uh, but yeah this is little Gavington it wasn't anything major we just wanted to get something a bit of a base camp so we can start working working from there and um, oh I do oh, this is one thing I do like I love this little bit where you got the the police van stopping trying to get all the speeders trying to get through it was pointing out to me that it was probably facing the wrong direction it should be catching people coming off the this way going out that way but yeah whatever it looks good it looks it looks good uh, and yes I read these little villages um I will while I'm here just get some dirt decals uh, because that's been mentioned before um see I've got, i'm gonna try and just change a few things up as we go along just because people suggest it and that's not the right one um is it dirt or mud ah that's what it yeah people do suggest stuff and um you take them on board so yeah pop that there and we'll put one there to yeah so that that it just makes it look like it's more it's being used a bit more so that should hopefully do the job um yeah so again we were really early days. I, I do. I'd like to at some point come back and fill these gaps in because there's just nothing there. I just need something. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just some trees, stuff like that. So maybe we'll do that. Um, I started really, really getting into it when we got to episode four, and that's over here. And we were doing some farms and, and some rural landscapes. Uh, again, the trees, vanilla changes up at some point. I. I I was getting my feet. I was getting into it. <laughs> um, th these roads here, these were by, by Mick Welshman, and they look great. And I love the, the assets here, the bushes and the trees that go with this. Uh, and that's the sort of thing that I wanted to incorporate around the rest of the map. And as you can see over there, we'll come to that in a bit. We, we started making a forest with these, but obviously I haven't gone back and changed these bits. So that's what I want to work on. But I really, really like this area. I like, I, I love these little um, um, telegraph poles. I think they are. Um, is that going to tell me? Uh, the telegraph poles or power cables I think the telegraphs uh, and then I've just spent a lot of time trying to make sure that they don't go through the trees so I just that little detail attention to detail I think makes a big difference I've got obviously some uh, hay bales here we've got a gate here so that the farmer can access the land and, and walk through I wanted to uh, when I go into this episode I wanted to sort of make it walkability and add some paths and stuff which I never actually did so I'd like to do that at some point I'm not gonna do it now because it's gonna I'm gonna have to rip up all the stuff but yeah uh, that's that's what that is we've got some trees here I think they're apples or orange trees just a little orchard to sort of feed the nation a little bit of a farm here again not a lot of detail really not a lot of detail uh, we've got floating bits here. We, uh, there seems to be floating bits all over the place, and I, somehow I didn't notice that, or they jumped up after it. I don't know, but um, we can. It's the sort of thing that I, I go round in between episodes, and I'll, I'll look at stuff and I'll tweak. Um, and we've got some farms here, which is just decals on the floor. There was a comment by uh, Tommy B uh, asking about these farms, whether the, the, asking a, said it was a noob question. There's nothing wrong with a noob question. Everyone, no one knows anything. Ask if these were worked as farms, and no, no, they don't. It's just for visual. But I think it looks good. Um, but I think you know, I would like to. I do want to add more of the industries in at some point. The actual farming, oil, or uh, forestry, etc. Because it's in, it's money coming in. I mean, at the moment, the city is making a loss. We've got minus seven hundred uh, a week, which you know, is not too bad. Eight hundred a week. There we go. Uh, but you know, we'd like to get that up at some point. So yeah, we'll have to get some proper farms in. So maybe we'll do an episode about that at some point. As you can see, the population is starting to improve. We've got twelve hundred people living here now. So not bad. We've we had some issues.
issues. We had a lot of people dying, and, and, and but we, we we fixed that. So moving forward, we're going to smash it out and and try to make things uh, make things more profitable. Uh, this little area here, really really like this area. Even though again, if I was to do, uh, do this now, I'd probably improve it quite a lot. But I really like this. It was nice little coldy sack of farms. And originally it was going to be one big farm, but now I thought, no, we're going to make it a couple of farms. So we're going to this can be a farmhouse and. I mean, to be honest with you, their farm is still empty. Uh, there were some trees there at some point, but I got rid of them. So I, I'd like to come back and do some stuff there. This one, clearly this guy owns this field here. And I think this guy would probably own maybe that field, possibly that one as well. Although I think that one might belong to, to this guy. I think he's he's quite wealthy or she, they. Um, there's a big tree in the middle there. Let's uh, tree, pull that out a bit uh, and a weedy bit oh okay let's uh oh that's the wrong tree great let's just fix this up while we're, we're while we're here uh, pop that in turn that down a spot there we go a couple of them and let's get a bush of some variety uh not that giant one because that looks stupid. Um, we can go for one of or a couple of these, a the bigger one. Let's fix things up along the way just to make things look a bit nicer. Uh, get a bit of colour in there, bish bash and bosh, just to make it look a bit nicer. And then yeah, one of those as well, just to cap off the corners. This is what I do pretty much. I just. I like making trees and bushes and stuff. It it makes the world come to life. It just feels so much nicer. But doesn't that look better than it did before? And that was a two minute job. Uh, lots of little bushes there. They look nice. Uh, and then over here, we've got uh, the skip being collected by the skip lorry. And um, just some general waste. People dumping stuff. It was nice. I like this. And uh, this area over here, I played around with this. I'd changed the fence a few times. But I really liked the way it came out. And it's just like a, a farmyard. He's got his, his, his all his tractors and his his equipment and stuff. This is where this is where everything is. And there's a separate yard here owned by someone else. I was kind of thinking that one might be this person's. Or even this house here. That, that belongs to someone as well. So these farms are obviously owned by different people. And they're just like, okay, yeah, we all live together. Or not together, obviously. But they live in a similar community. And they've all sort of go to do the right thing but um i kind of wanted this space to be you know, he's got some vehicles there that are floating i think uh but they're just general yeah he, he hasn't got rid of them these are he's using them for spares and oh, i didn't want that but spares and repairs and just get using the parts for maybe he's got other vehicles that got similar engines or something. I, don't, I don't know um, but you know people don't throw stuff away necessarily there's a there's a caravan there perhaps someone lives on site that uh, works here and they live in there or but maybe it's just it was an old cabin they used to go on holiday with and they just left it there because they didn't want to sell it things like that i was just trying to do little things like this it's a little bits of tufts of grass just to, to bring it to life anyway this is this is episode three that's um we did quite a lot there and we started to bring it out and i feel like that really stepped up the mark for me and helped me sort of focus on detailing a bit more and I'm not you know, I'm going crazy with it hello there's a there's a person walking around that path that's uh, that's nice to see uh, having gone crazy with it but we, we as we go along you'll see that we we get a little bit deeper with it and that perhaps a little bit too deep um, episode five that was episode four as well by the way <laughs> episode five we focused on this petrol station and it was the entire episode was one petrol station and there was some comments on that as that oh don't believe i couldn't believe there was going to be an entire episode blah 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 it worked i think so i think it worked as well i think it looked really good it's and it's um it's actually quite busy here a lot of people coming in and going uh, i don't know are they just using it as where are you go you, you're going there and you're going to come out there It seems like they, that's they, they've decided not to use this part of the roundabout, and they're just using that stuff. I mean, fine, it's it's got traffic. It looks good. It works well. Uh, but yeah, this car I didn't place it. That that's a car that's um one of the obviously the people. But a lot of these building the car, the vehicles in here, I did place. You can see there's a couple double part there because let's just get in. I've obviously placed one, but there's also someone else parked there. This is the problem with parking cars because. The other cars don't think, don't realise that they're there. I just park on top, so that does annoy me a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it, but you know, 
I, I play someone thinking this is that's the perfect amount of cars in this scene, and then the others come along. But if I didn't put them in, you guarantee they wouldn't. <laughs> no one else would park there. <laughs> guarantee it. But I really like this. I like this little petrol station. It's got the the, the um, car wash, which uh, I would probably give it a bit more space coming back to it again. But it's fine. Um, it works. I like this little area up here. I like the fact that um, if I just move this out. I got the ambulance parking in disabled space. I don't know why. I just thought I just think that would annoy people because they shouldn't park there. It's, they're not disabled. Uh, but you know, hello, busload, tourists coming in. It is. They actually got off the bus there and walked there and got back on. Okay. Well, yeah. Apparently, this is a very popular place. Yeah. I just thought just little things like that. I just wanted to do. do Try to make it realistic. I, I've tried to um, obviously put cracks and stuff and, and dirt and puddles in the roads and the paths just to make it a bit more realistic. And, and as well with the, the bins, I, I like to, let's just zoom in again, I like to put not that much litter there and, and bin base because people don't look after the world. We, we, we have one world and we, we're not looking after it as a, as a population. So um, it's kind of, to make it look realistic, we've got to make it look dirty and messy and horrible. And that's, that's a sad truth of life. But it, that is true. Uh, but yeah, uh, this I really like this. It really sort of helped me step up the mark. And we've got all these bushes here, which I, I think work really well. I would maybe add something else in as as a focal point in the future. Uh, but do you know what? It, it's it's all right. And I have gone back and, and added some extra colours in there, just just as we did earlier, because I think that looked, worked well. But yeah, that's that. Uh, and I think we did this roundabout as well. Uh, yeah, that was that episode. Wasn't a lot. Uh, and then the next episode we did this housing estate and this really brought it on i really like this house estate i'm loving these buildings uh, again i believe these were rick 4000 buildings and uh, obviously in the first couple of episodes we did the just the building on itself without the gardens and i was gonna do the detailing myself but to be honest with you it got to a point where thinking uh, it's gonna, uh, the amount of it, detail i actually want to put in it takes so long to do every garden so i started using ones like these which come with the gardens and you know, it's good. The only the only criticism I have, which isn't a criticism, is the fact that the, the trees and bushes, they are the vanilla ones. Which, you know, is great if you're obviously wanting to save an asset. But as I've gone on, I've started putting more, less vanilla stuff in. And these do stand out to me. So, um, But then it's the flip side. Do I add the guns myself for the trees and bushes? Or do, am I lazy? Which, obviously, I am. And I accept what it is. So, so that's what we've done. But this little house estate, I think, worked really well. We had this little field here with the with the path going around it, which we saw someone walking around earlier, so it does work. Um, and this is a, what I mean about the walkability. They wanted to put paths in for people to to go and and make it a real life. And I really liked as well these little um, garage blocks. And again, they're not perfect. We could like there's a little overhang there. We could probably fix that up. But I wanted to make it look good. I wanted to put like cars say dirt puddles cracks all that sort of stuff make the floor seem obviously more realistic i've got all this rubbish someone's just dumped all this stuff someone's i guess brought a transit van down here and just dumped everything in there it's like yeah get fly tip and get rid of that stuff um that happens in real life so it's um it kind of has to be done but it doesn't look nice but it looks, looks more realistic one thing i would say is i didn't have garages i, I think if we have a look at this there, there wasn't a lot of options um I did get some more afterwards, which I haven't gone back, but uh, I, a lot of them I had, the ones with the, like, the pointy, like, pitch roofs, and they just wouldn't work in this instance. That works, that would work in a single person's garden, so if I was to pop that, obviously, space provided, obviously, put it there, that would work as his garage, but for those ones, uh, if I tried to make a garage block with these and, and the slopes, it just it would look really weird so I was kind of hoping that I could get more this shape with different colors but there wasn't so that, I, I, I have to live with the fact that they're all the same color really like this asset as well it's got the flashy lights and it's got um is that water or steam something yes water's like flying out it's supposed to be steam but it looks more like water but that looks good <laughs> it's a little broken down car and we, we've done a few more things like that as we go along I didn't want to press that um, but yeah, we've done that, uh, and we did another one of those on the same episode over here. And um, yeah, like I say, it looks it looks alright. We have got some more stuff dumped there. And I was focused on the paths. Uh, this sort of area around here, I do again. I still want to come back and just 
get all these in because uh, and here um i did say in a previous episode episode 10 maybe that um the empty space i still want i don't want to just leave it empty because this just looks barren and plain i want to put stuff in to make it uh, fill it with empty stuff essentially i know it doesn't really make sense but it, in my mind it does um but yeah i i kind of want to do that at some point i just haven't got around to it i think maybe we'll have to pick an episode and and just focus on these little spaces around the builds and do that um i will just have a look at this roundabout here because i, I mentioned in i think it might be in episode four five or six about what an asset like this and then rob city's put a comment in discord with this exact thing and do you know what it's perfect and i've gone back and i've added three or four of these roundabouts and they look great i, I mean again i probably ch would like to maybe change the the trees in it there's another one gets a bit laggy over here not that one keep going keep going keep going there's another one here with um some nicer assets on it but these it looks good i like this this is the sort of thing that i see all the time when i'm driving around england uh, there's another one over here. A bit overgrown. Uh, the, the paths. I'll, I'll be the first to admit the little path here. It's um, it's, it's hard work trying to get that in. I I I, I did try really. I swear I tried really hard. Um, but I, I get sort of that'll do. That's as close as I'm going to get with it. But yeah. So that was um, episode five, episode six, and then episode seven. We jumped over here. We did something different, and we went to a retail park. And this was quite good. I like this. This is um, a city skyline, sorry, a British skyline story uh, by, in, th entered in by uh, Lord Master Trot. I do plan to do more of these stories. I just got a bit distracted with like the deaths and stuff and sort of having to get services. So I, I, there's loads, loads of different comments. And I, again, I'm going to keep going through. It's just, I, I find that I need to, um, I've got to have a passion to do something. I, I read comments. Great. Yeah, that sounds good. But maybe for later. So I, don't get me wrong. I haven't finished. I've not. Put, I'm not stop doing them. I've just put them on the back burner while I get a few things in place, and we'll go from there. But I really like this one. This is good. We've got the, the out of town retail part. We've got the main shopping cent, uh, re, um, Tesco there. Look at all these cars. There's a car park there, just there. Four car parks, and you are park here. Lazy. I should probably. I should probably restrict parking. I'm, I'm going to do that right now. Um, oh, I've disabled everything. Uh, Haha, <laughs> I found it, I moved it over here. Uh, I should probably um, restrict parking on this road because I, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want parking on, on that road either. So let's turn all them off. Uh, that one, yeah. Turn it off. That one, that one, uh, and that one, that one, th those ones, yeah. And these, we don't want parking anywhere on any of these. Thank you very much, because there's car parks for a reason. <laughs> that's that's the whole point of it. Right, okay, that's done. Uh, so yeah, I, I like this. Um, we need some workers here, which we're going to work on because we're, we're getting more people. We've still got 1,200, as you can see. They're not, they're not dead yet. Um, so yeah, we'll get more people living here and doing stuff. Um, yeah, this this worked out really well. Again, we'd obviously need to work on these areas around the edges. We, I, some point I haven't got around to that but I like this little bit here we put the travelers in um, one of the things I really liked about this area is um I went into quite a lot of detail with like the uh, tr tr shopping trolleys now they, this must be one two three four five um, ten twenty thirty trolleys in each of these and I've done quite a few got some floating cars ignore them don't worry about them they've got some floating trolleys so, so, some shopping trolleys and they just and I think I dumped a few over here as well from memory just out in the middle of the shops because some people are just too lazy to take the back so just dumped around the edges I like that um, I think that's quite good worked well um, yeah there we go that's that's a little retail park I, I enjoyed this episode it was quite good fun I'd like to do more like that I'd like to do more British Skyline stories that are sort of big enough that I can make an entire episode around uh, and focus on it um, but obviously it doesn't really matter if we can put a few little bits here, that's pretty cool windows in that car. Porsche 930, Dexter Wright. So this is, obviously these are, that's a real person parking there. I, I, I specifically made this car park less busy because I'm hoping that people would be coming to work and shopping in these places and they'd be parking here. So they'd, they'd fill the spaces for me. Anyone gonna park anywhere? You gonna prove me right? Not gonna prove me wrong? No? 
they're just going to walk for miles. We have actually zero public transport whatsoever in this map, so that's something that I want to focus on moving forward at some point. Uh, it's just the town isn't really big enough yet uh, to really warrant it, but that's it's not far off being on the card. So, um, you know, we'll have like a bus line that comes here and then we'll bus stop there, for example, uh, and that will take you into the town and go from there. But yeah, that's that one. Um, trying to remember the next step. I think we then came over and did this next housing estate over here. Might be wrong. Um, which is well, this area around here, and and that I think it was. And um, again, I really like this. It's just more housing. I felt like it got at this point. It was starting to get a bit tedious putting houses in. Maybe you're feeling that about this video that I'm just looking at houses. Um, but we use different styles of houses here, and. Um, yeah, it worked out quite well. Most of these, again, have the gardens and stuff in, which added maybe the driveway, the wheelie bins and the cars and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, moving forward, we, we have started just doing a few houses in each episode, just to take away some of the mundanity, mundanity, Mun mundaneness. Yeah, you know what I mean. Take that away from it and just make it um, feel feel less housing and more about other stuff. Because we, let's be honest, we're here about the other stuff. Um, there was a comment as well. Um, who was it? Talked about the bargain bows. Steve Pugh. <laughs> Nothing more British than the bars at bargain bows. Yep, that's um, that's pretty much it. Next, efficient chip shop and Lloyd's Pharmacy. These again, these are all like real British shops. Uh, these, uh, these are great. There's, I've got loads of these assets. Again, Rick Fourth House, I believe. Um, but these are like. Lovely. So I, I would probably put more of these in at some point. Got a post office there. Got a premier, which is like an off license and shop sort of thing. Got Londis, which is pretty much the same sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's cool. And we've got these bollards here. That's a hearse going around. Someone's died. Okay. Got these bollards here. There was a comment as well about that. Like, what's why that? Um, because to be honest with you, the way that I see it is back when the town was first built, maybe there was access through there and through here, but. As the town got busier, the town planners got in and said, right, okay, no, we, we, we need to cut some roads off. So they cut the roads off there, put some bollards, don't go over there. You walk it, you can cycle it, but you don't drive it because there's a special road for you to take. Uh, and that's that. So uh, I also like these phone boxes. I, I want to go with the two styles, the, 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 the classic red and then the... the, the, the I'm going to say they're more modern. It's so outdated. It's like... I think they di a lot of them disappeared in the late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, the, the old BT box as well. But... Um, you don't see many of these about anymore. In the village I live in, um, we still have a red telephone box, which is a public library now. A tiny little library, you can just leave books for other people. Lovely idea, really like that, and it's great community spirit, so yeah. Anyway, that's that. Uh, so we got some houses. I wasn't... This car park here, I, I felt like it was a, an odd angle, but to get the road here right, I have to go there, and then... I wanted a gap for people to walk down there, so it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to go back and change that, but yeah, that's it. We've got some bins with rubbish and stuff. Yeah, this park, absolutely love this park. The um, the bark floor surfaces that we put in, they just change it so well. That makes it, it just brings it to life. It makes it awesome. Uh, we've got someone there burying something, buried treasure, a body. I don't know. Are you doing maintenance work? And a sneeze, bless you. Bless you. you. Are you trapped in a lot cycle? You're just in a loop. Is that a lunchbox? Is it a sandwich? Don't know what you're doing. Okay, well. Bless you. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, well, that's enough of that. Yeah, I, I really like this park. Uh, that's one of my favourite parks that I've made so far, and I'd like to do more like that in the future. This little bit here, which is an offshoot of the park, was. Um, Lady Geek, I think it was, said about these um, umbrellas probably not going to be here, which yeah, I, I kind of agree, but I, I foresee that as this guy that sells, I don't know, hot dogs or ice cream or something, he, he maybe has got contract for the land and he's he's maintaining that, or she, they, they're maintaining this area, and they brought their own umbrellas, and that's their little business, so that's what that is, uh, so let just talk you through that. Uh, and again, we'll just put some uh, rubbish here, just on the edges, because People litter all the time. And there was, I originally had a different sign here, if you remember from previous episodes. Um, I was getting a little bit too intensive with some of the assets, so I actually had to get rid of a whole bunch of signs, which I only used a few of them, and I've replaced them with things like this, which I do still have, so if anyone noticed, yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I think, after that, we moved, we were going to do an episode about 
trains, train stations and stuff. And we put two train stations, this one in, and then we had another one way over here, which I've actually got rid of and changed because it, it, it looked horrible. But this is the cargo one. Both of them are actually disabled at the moment because we haven't used them. I wanted to use the tracks or anything, um, but I haven't got around to it. I, I kind of really want to incorporate housing and stuff and industrial around the tracks just to give you something to sort of think about and, and have traffic crossing over at certain points. I just obviously the town hasn't come out that far yet, so that's something that we're going to focus in the meantime. But I want the trains in in the early stages so we we don't sort of overgrow and then have to go back and put them in afterwards. But anyway, this episode was more about this area over here. Which I really like. We've got this lovely little bridge. We've got some cool little stuff on there. We've got something going on here, which we won't say what it is, but, um, you know, it's, uh, there's certainly some sort of crime scene over there. I really like this area. This, uh, I love the. I think this is the, the, the perfect level of detail with trees and, and gaps, and it, it doesn't lag too much, but it, it feels like it's filled the space. So I'm going to probably try to do more of this sort of level. Um, this little area over here oh actually i wanted to change this as well because again there were some comments uh, old rocker 72 uh, some personal experience suggested a few things so i so i'm going to change that while we're at it suggested that there's too many police guys one two three four five he suggested there should only be two to three so let's um keep that one get rid of that one and that one and that can be our three of those he did suggest that we probably should have another ambulance so we'll do that and I think if we pop that there perhaps and he also suggested about this being completely inaccurate which I completely agree with at the time I didn't have any other assets for um, fire station fire fire trucks but now now we do <laughs> so um, yeah, we can fix it. And he suggested there should be probably two of them. So I'll pop one of them in there, and then another one can come like there, something like that. And that. Maybe maybe we'll move this car a little bit. But it just brings it more realistic. And this is, you know, like I say, I do read all the comments, I reply to all the comments, and I do take them on board. I, I do tend to be a couple of episodes ahead of you guys when I'm making them. So you might not see that I take them on board straight away, but I am. And I'll make changes as we go along. I think that works all right. Um, I don't have any firemen or fire persons assets, so I can't have them running around. But you know, the, the fire engines are there, and they work. And we'll use them again in the future. And I'll probably, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work with that. That's that's good. And the the, the, the air ambulance was going to take <laughs> this guy away in his in his swimming shorts. <laughs> oh my! Oh my days! Oh, can we can we be a bit less? Uh... Wow. Um, there we go. Look at him with his sunglasses on and swimming shorts. What a legend. Um, yeah, I've been in a car accident. No big deal. I'm just going to sunbathe and just, you know, just, get, just work on the old tan. Yeah, that's him. So he, he's going off and uh, he's taking the air ambulance and he's going to go somewhere safe. And we've got all these people here, uh, which I really like this. This is really good. And. I want to do more of this in the future. I've done a, a few bits since, um, just here and there, um, on the construction site, for example, which we'll come to in a bit. But the only downside is they just don't move, so you've got the traffic running, which is great, but these guys are, are static. And actually, speaking of the traffic, that's another thing I want to do. I think it was Gren that suggested it, uh, that we should slow down the traffic at this point. So um, let's just do that as we speak. Let's pick my myself how to do it. 65. I want to maybe put that down to 30 right here just for the point of there so the cars will speed up I think maybe actually we'll um we'll drop to 30 here and they can speed up after the accident that's fine so yeah they're gonna slow down it's gonna cause a bit of traffic but that's fine because I mean that's why I did it on a motorway so there's actually two separate lanes but that works I think that works well and great comment thank you for that um these sort of things Really appreciate that because it can help me sort of make them more, make it more realistic, and go from there. What I would like to do is start to get people starting to use this lane. So we're going to need to get some a reason for people to want to, to come to the roundabout in this lane. We'll, we'll have to work on that. At the moment, everyone's just going straight over, and no one's really coming around. Um, apart from that guy, of course. 
as we said it. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to get more people doing that, and we'll fix that up at, at some point. Anyway, this area here, we didn't just stop here. We what are these? Oh yeah, they're that's never gonna get fixed. And they they're not close enough to a road. That's that is what it is. That's fine. I really like this area, and I've worked on this forest here, which I think looks so much... Let me just come over here. This forest, these trees, look a lot better than those trees. So at some point or another, I plan to expand this forest and do that over there, and probably use these trees in this combination. I'll do these as well. It's a long process. The problem is, you do that, you go around there, you do around there, you go around there. Where'd you stop? Finish that. I mean, I guess... That's where you start. But then you've got all these ones. You've got these ones, these ones. This is a huge map. There's got so much space. Do I go do all the trees? I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to do it as and when I get to it. But yeah, we're, we're, we're going to... I do plan to do some stuff around this area at some point. Oh, look, there's a train. That's actually the first train I've seen using this track. That's cool. I wish I got a picture of that. <laughs> Screenshot. Um, but yeah, this is, this is good. I like this area and I plan to do something... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put here, but I want to do something because I want to. I want to be able to obviously use this area as, as a lookout. So that's why I haven't done this side. This side of the track is going to be built on, going to be buildings or something. And um, yeah, this will be the view, and it's going to be a great view. It really is. And then we'll work on that forest at a later date as well. Um, so yeah, that was um, that episode. I'm, I'm losing track of the numbers here. Uh, that would have been episode nine. And then episode 10, I've actually got a list of all the videos up in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I get confused. Episode 10, we went and did the uh, the services of fire. And uh, not that. The fire and the medical clinic. Because again, people were getting upset. They were dying and stuff. So um, we've got some of these. I'm going to put the um, fire truck in here as well. At least one of them. Maybe put one around the back. Is there a way for... Yeah, they can go through there. That's fine. So we'll put one here. Something like that. There. This area here, this is obviously like a, like a training area. They've got a burnt out car there. Uh, and this is where the firemen come in. They'll practice it and they'll, they'll climb the building and uh, do the staircases. and I don't know. Whatever firemen do to, to train. This is what this area is for here. Uh, but we'll obviously have um, probably one fire engine out there. Um, oh, I should just say as well, uh, do you know, let me just get another fire engine, just get off. The, the fire engines in the fire station at this point is purely cosmetic, I will say that, um, because I've turned off fires altogether, fire spread and fires, um, because, uh, well, because it's annoying, I spent a lot of time making this stuff and I don't really want to burn it down so I've turned that off that's the only thing I've turned off uh, to sort of cheat the game other than the fact that I've got infinite money and infinite ore and stuff like that but like people are gonna die they're gonna they're gonna need health they're gonna need um, schools and stuff like that I haven't turned that off fire I just don't want this I'd hate for this to burn down it'd be awful but yeah there's another fire engine there just to make it a bit more realistic so I think that looks good uh, actually I think I might just add one more uh, can I pick just okay fine pick it up put it down I know they'd be inside but obviously you can't see inside so they're gonna be outside ready to go and these will come around there and they'll, they'll come out on, on the road so that was that and then we had the medical clinic here which I thought was really good I like that it's similar to I think I said it before but I, I sort of loosely based this town on where I grew up uh, so it's not spot-on obviously but it's uh, similar uh, and there was a, a medical clinic a bit like that a bit like there, <laughs> so that's that. Uh, and then we added, the, added these um, this flats, and I like these flats. They worked really well, and some houses on this side here. A little skate park, which I never really looked at, because um, it was a, a s s asset that was obviously just all in one. And because I was originally going to do a build of my own version of a skate park, which would have been much much bigger. Um, but it wouldn't have fit in space. Uh, the only I like this one; it's fine, but I don't like this big sign here doesn't fit in uh, other than that I think it's alright it's a little skate park does the job we've got um, a football pitch there with you can see we've got the uh, the dirt underneath it which was suggested so I've already done that one um, I like this area here uh, we've... hang on I had washing lines across here they've gone this game this game um, can I fix that back up uh, maybe that might take a little while Washing line. We still have the asset. Okay. Um, 
Let's just pop the one in. I, I'm just... I'm... Pop that there, and then we want to go to that, and we want to... Raise it up to a decent height, and then we want to copy that, and we want to do a few more of them, a bit like that. Uh, this is a bit fiddly. This is why I do things sped up, because... Hard work trying to connect this stuff. You gotta look at separate, lots of different angles and make it all work. I wanted one off the tree there. That should work. Let's just zoom in and make sure the height works. Uh, apart from that extra one there. I'd say that's a good height. Yeah, that works. Um, let's just delete this one. Ah, okay, it's gone. Yeah, anyway, so that that's a good... I like this area. That that works well. I feel like that was a really good um, little flat area. It works really well. And the good thing is this has got 70... or oh, maximum... Oh, 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 potential of 70 households. We've actually dropped to 100 people. Think about that. Um, yeah, lots of people can live here. Uh, it's a little, little car park. But this is one of the ways of just trying to increase the population without going mad with housing. Um, just add some flats and stuff. They fit in really well, I think. I don't know what you think, but I think they fit in really well, and it works. It really, it really does work, and it looks good, and the grass is filled really nicely. And yeah, that, that was that. So that was episode 10. And then... Episode 11. Oh, we did the school. Ah, that's it. I'll, again, I like that. Well, there's two schools, actually. We did this one over here. We added these houses... Oh, whoops. Zoom in. Did, added these houses here as well, and... They were already there. Yeah, out of these houses, this tree, these houses, and that. Yeah, that's it. And this area around here, again, this is what I mean about adding the nothing into this nothingness. Like, this, there's nothing here. I, I, there's a path that goes around for people to to go. They, don't, they won't. Obviously, there's no reason for them. But, you know, I see that people would maybe go out there and they'd chill and... Uh, party there, I don't know, kids would just hang around there, that's what kids do, um, but it's it's space that hasn't been used, it's not someone's house or someone's garden, it's it's not big enough to become someone's house and garden, so it's just sort of almost dead space, it's just play area, just where people hang out, and yeah, I, I enjoy adding that sort of stuff in, uh, so that's that, and actually it reminds me as well, there's over here, I really like this idea, this is a story as well by Command Freak, uh, about um, the guy that he... <laughs> He can't afford to go camping, so he permanently camps outside his house, even though he's got all his equipment, so he's paid for it, but he obviously can't afford a plot. There's actually people here camping. <laughs> They're actually just sitting there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, again, trees uh, would probably... I'll change them if I... I don't you know what? I'm going to change them now. Oh, that's not a tree. There we go. And let's do... Uh, where can I just... Most of the time when I get trees, I just copy them from somewhere else nowadays because it's easier. There we go. I can pop one tree there and another one there. And that looks... How much better does that look already? Just having the non-vanilla trees. You can see in better as well. That looks a lot better. Anyway, we get, we're getting distracted here. Come on, guys. Uh, right, so we've got this little school here. That was a little primary school or a, a junior school. Or a young student school, primary school. Yeah, primary school. That's what it's called. It's UK primary school by um, Rick 4000. Uh, I like that. It looked good. It worked well. And then we had the bigger school, the second school. I really like this. It's good. Uh, we, asked, we incorporated a park here just to get people to walk in and, yeah, probably earn a bit of money. Although, yeah, I'll turn it down to zero. I don't want to charge people for it because, I mean, I'm not a monster. I don't want to charge people to go to school. I, I like this. It worked well. We did tweak it a little bit for the car park to make the road come here in the episode, I guess, 13... 12? I don't know, one of them. Um, yeah, it would have been episode 12, we'd change that. Um, but yeah, no, really, by the by. Um, this is good. Um, but yeah, this is cool. We, we put a little uh, TARDIS in there as a sort of Easter egg. <laughs> little thing like that. I, I, I have a few little things like that. I've got some assets for. I want to just do here, there, and everywhere. Just a bit of fun. So yeah, that's that. Um, not much to say about that, really. Um, oh, I did like the uh, this. Spent a little bit of time putting vines on there just to make the building look a bit more interesting. There's a few up the top which just look a little bit weird, but on the whole, I think I like that. It just it makes the building look more lived in, more growth in there. So I like that. That was good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that's episode um, 
Episode 11. Episode 12 was... Uh, oh, that was... That was an interesting one. That's why everyone died, and we realised why, because... Um, we'd basically been polluting... Everyone had virus. Uh, they had a bug, and uh, we'd been polluting the water. Uh, where is it? Over uh, here. Um, this... That was a weird noise. Something's just upgraded. The clarifier and the um, water pumping station, both of them were in industrial and polluted areas and they were killing people. That's why everyone died and that's why we had no citizens left. So we, we fixed that. Oh god, what lag. Uh, we fixed that, but at the same time, we worked on this little place. Ah, I like this place. This is good. This is a little graveyard cemetery. There was some comments about adding a church. I, I do want to add a church, uh, but I'm going to add it at a separate place. This is... This is... Oh, he's going to the right height there. They, uh, they were going up there before. Positive. Um... I mean, he's driving through the wall. Oh, okay, yeah, he's still doing it. That that still happens. Um, I I don't even want to try and fix it. I'm I just worried that I'm going to mess everything up, so I'm just going to leave that as a feature now. But yeah, this is this is good. I I plan at some point to do a, another church in town. Um, because this is as far as I'm concerned, this is out of town. This is the edges of the town. We the town's going that way. This is the edges of the town. It's sort of it's just literally just a cemetery at the top of the road or at the top of the hill. Um. It works because, again, it's similar to where I grew up. I'm throwing all these little hints out there if anyone wants to do some research. Um, but yeah, that was that. Uh, but then the next episode, episode 13, that's when things really started to take a hit. We um, we worked on this area here, and my gosh, the lag. This area is a bit hard work. Um, don't get me wrong, it looks great, and I would actually like to go back and do more to it if I could. Um, it does, yeah, it's a little bit choppy. Um, the people just, yeah. But anyway, this is look. We want to do a forest area. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's a huge area. You look at the expansion. That's that's about the size of the entire town in one episode. So that's a huge area. It's a bit of a forest. We've got some cabins in there. We've got some camping sites and some caravans and tents and stuff. I think it works really well. I'd like to have gone and did more detail with this stuff. Like, if you look at like. Um, Rick 4000 who made this he's got his own video about this and he's he's done a great job detailing around it I I haven't got the power to do that but it'd be lovely to put like um, fences, hot tubs, driveways uh, all sorts of different stuff around here, benches, bins, little all that stuff, I've got no puddles on here I've got no cracks of the roads because it's just the, uh, this just got to the point where there's just too much just the layers, um, if we were to grab that and that I just hover over here you see all those little blue circles each of them is an asset no wonder it lags there's uh, there's so much and that that's just one tiny area that's just ridiculous so I, I, I'm not gonna be doing that again I'm not gonna be making the same mistake I put in all that um, the, the, if I didn't explain it properly before the, the, the main reason for this I think is um, let's just grab no grab that that's not what I'm looking for uh, those bushes but also this grass here let me just check, take this out for a second the grass is made up of all those tiny assets whereas what I normally do uh, meadow grass that's one asset so you obviously you have 20 of them to make it I normally pop one of them down that would be one asset that, that works so much better so I'm doing that more often these sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I think if I was to go back and redo it, I would be using, at the very least, these small patches here, just to, just to do the edges and then add the bushes in. That would, I think, make a big difference. And there was a mistake I made. So if you were to try and do this yourself, I would suggest doing that, especially if you've got a low-powered PC like myself. Mine isn't crazy. It's just just basic PC. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, but I really, again, I like the area. I like how it came out. I would love to put more detail in it. I'd love to put, come back and do it, but perhaps the next forest area will do more. And I do plan, I was thinking this area here was going to be expansion to a forest. I was actually going to do it at the time, but it didn't. Um, and also over here, fill these gaps here and possibly come down here. So that could all be a forest. So maybe we'll have a go at that using the other technique and see if that makes a difference. But I don't want to rush to do it because I don't want to make the game unplayable. Um, so at the time, for the time being, we're just going to leave that there and, and just sort of go from there. Uh, then, then the last episode, episode 14, which came out last week, 
What's this area here? This construction site. Now I love this place. This looks awesome. Uh, we did a bit of a buffer here with that obviously meadow grass just to sort of stop the lag. <laughs> um, this is expansion of the, the housing estate as far as I'm concerned. This is, I love this. This is awesome. I, I don't know, I said it already. I just like, I think it looks really cool. Uh, it, it needs a housing estate. It, it needs to be built. Um, people are building stuff all the time so as far as i'm concerned this all these houses here that are already built are phase one of the construction site project this is phase two and this would be phase three which i'll never get to in this game because obviously we're not going to rip it up but yeah that's what i'm seeing here um this would be i again i'll fill this in at some point i'll probably do it one episode and do a whole bunch together and just fill in these gaps but that's going to be like a little park area i'm thinking but yeah look at this how cool is this but all the little men walking around i mean some I say men, women, them, <laughs> these people, they're all the construction workers, they're working around and they're doing stuff, they don't move but they do the job, we've got some fans in place, we've got, I think it looks awesome, I just, <laughs> this guy here, um, I didn't realise um, he was a welder, I thought he was one of those guys, that, I mean, just zoom in. come on, come on get, get in there. Yeah, I thought this guy was one of those guys that um, he's got like this, he, he measures distances on roads or something. I don't know why I did, but I just didn't realise it. So I put him there and the guy over there, he was the other side measuring something. Turns out he's a welder and um, he's not welding anything. So yeah, that's silly. I might Actually, I'm going to fix that as we speak instead of just, I, I said I was just highlighting it. Let's, let's fix it. He can, let's take off decals at least. Uh, there we go, found you. He can be welding the scaffolding because apparently that needs welding I don't know it's broken he's fixing it and this guy can stay there there you go that's fixed where did all these cars just come from what can I move that one guy this game this game seriously you shouldn't it's a construction site you shouldn't have these people here this is for construction traffic there's no way all these cars belong to the workforce there's no way they got the park over here. That is for them. And I, I, yeah, what is what is the rest for? <laughs> Why are they there? But this is good. I, I love this. This is. At the, I think at this stage, this is my favourite. Um, this is my favourite build so far. But we're not finished yet because we've got loads of plans. And again, I apologise. This is a longer episode than normal. Don't know how much of this will cut out. But here's the town we've got so far. There's Little Gamington. There's Great Gamington. Big old town. Little town. Got big space here. Uh, plan to build this out at least to the tracks here uh, and beyond the tracks over here I'm thinking so we fill that space um, possibly come out here um, but yeah this all area should be the town be housing all sorts of stuff um, got lots of ideas to go in there we'll see um, I want I want to do the industries at some point I want to do like I said before the ore the uh, forestry the stuff that they can't fit here obviously but they'll, they'll go in at some point we're gonna need industrial estates so a bit like we've got over here, but we're going to have more of them, bigger ones. That's just a small one for this village. There's going to be a bigger one in this town somewhere, which we'll go into a bit more detail with. Um, I want to put um, an old town in somewhere, probably near the train tracks, to be honest. Um, and we'll have a big area, maybe an area, an uh, open market square. That'd be quite cool, I think. Uh, I want to do universities, parks, uh, as a golf course would be cool. I'd really like to do that. Um, circus, I've got assets for a circus as well. Um, let's just pop it up. So I had assets for a circus. Right, well, we'll get them back at some point. They're, they're obviously in a cull. I'd like to do that at some point. Uh, a nuclear power plant, because we, we are low on power. I've got a button because it annoys me. Um, but we're low on power, so we need to fix that. So a nuclear power plant's pretty maybe even next week who knows but yeah um what i think i'm going to do i'm going to continue working around this area but i might flick between this area and maybe put something over here in like say this area here maybe something over here i want to spread out and just use different areas um you know this area whatever i i think i'm going to avoid coming over here just because i don't really want to handle that right now um but yeah there's nothing stopping us going and say putting a little town here or a little town here for example or a village just something i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes as as we get to it but yeah i think um that's pretty much what we've done so far so hopefully you're enjoying the series hopefully you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more of it um you know let me just zoom out you can see the map here if there's anything can i just zoom out further 
We can zoom out further. Fantastic. Yeah, you can see we've got a lot of space. So if there's anything you think you'd like to see in certain places, it doesn't have to be now. It could be in six months' time, whatever. Um, but we can, we'll, you know, let me know. Take a screenshot. Let me know in Discord or send me a picture on Twitter or wherever you want to do it. Um, we've got some spaces there. That's a good little spot. We could do something there. I want to try and get far enough away that we, the stuff there isn't going to affect the lag there. So that, that could work. That could work. That could work, for example. Those are, those are some suggestions for the future. Um, you know, obviously, that's a huge area. So that's not going to be one project. That can be like several projects in there. Uh, but, I mean, if you look at what we've got here, for example. But yeah, that that's... That's where we we're, that's where we are at the moment and where we want to be. Uh, I want to have to look at this traffic at some point. I think that looks really cool, like that. That that works well. That does work well. I like that. Um, so yeah, we want to probably do something over here as well at some point. So I'm not quite sure what. Any suggestions? Let me know. And I'd like to do something around the rivers as well because they they look pretty beautiful. We'd probably change the trees, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, again, true fair. Literally everywhere I could do something here. There's anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> um, just, to, just to, I want to go crazy with it, but um, you know, tiny steps, little bits. But anyway, unfortunately, we are about out of time for this video. So if you did enjoy that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And obviously, tell your friends about it too, because if you like it, it's a good chance that they will too. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.